into your reading here. Let's take a look at the three main energies going on for you, Leo, and then we'll go ahead and start getting into clarification for you. All right, Leo Collective, what do the Leos and my collective need to hear today? What is going on? Oh, would you look at that? We got three cards, okay? We're going to take them. We have Broken Heart in the reverse. Oh, we got four. The Man Holding a Coin, okay? Second Chakra, Archangel Ariel. And Blossoming Abundance, Leo. What is going on here? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys, you're healing. You're healing something, and, and it's taken you a lot of time to heal. And I feel you've got someone coming in, a possible male, okay, coming into your life that it doesn't have to be a male. It could be someone with masculine, you know, properties. Um, <laughs> I made it sound like they were some kind of video game character, Leo. Like, they have the properties of air and masculine and, and fire and... Um, <laughs> Anyway, this could be also earth energy here with the man holding a coin coming in who wants to offer you stability. All right. Could be monetary, could be just stability in your life. And here with the second chakra, I feel you're fully in your power right now and feeling good, um, feeling connected to yourself and your desires in life. And with blossoming abundance. Wow. Um, there's something good coming in your life, Leo. There's there's something good, really good energy here that I'm feeling. I mean, that popped right out. So we're not going to waste any time. I want to get into clarity here for past, present, and future energy. Okay? All right. Okay, tell me. Tell me, Source, about the past here. This person coming into your life may be here to help heal something. All right? I just heard that. Tell me about this past, present, future energy. Okay, Four of Swords. Wow. So you guys have been taking a rest, allowing yourself to rejuvenate, allowing yourself to integrate. I like this. Integrate what happened in the past. Five of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups. Hmm... All right, so I feel like right now, Leo, you are not taking many offers from people or you haven't in the past been wanting to take many offers from others because you were in a state of healing, okay? And I think that maybe you were healing from a relationship that was a little bit um, like codependent. Maybe you really relied on that relationship in your life to either help you monetarily or you, you had stability with this person. You guys maybe were in it for the long haul, but somebody got hurt here, okay, with broken heart. And I think that this maybe had you close off, you know, you were too disappointed and you were closed off. And now we have someone coming in here with a man holding a coin. This may be what you're looking for. Okay, Leo, someone that's grounded. Let's take a look. Could be this past person coming back, but I don't want to say for sure. Okay, we have Page of Wands in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Eight of Cups. So, you know, I feel that, um, <laughs> wow, Leo. Okay, so I feel basically this person, yeah, this person coming back into your life. There's someone coming back into your life or you know about them or they've been in and out of your life a lot. And um, this person may be a little bit selfish. They may be someone who mostly focuses on their money. Someone that is just not willing to let you go, all right? But you've been trying to really heal from heartache. Look, if this is a come around, this could be a person coming back around and you're ignoring them, okay? And you're just kind of like, I don't want that. But they're trying to offer you something here. They're trying to bring something to your life that's stable. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing, Um but uh, I feel as though you're also blocking from this person. Like, you don't want to experience the kind of hurt that you went, went through before with said person. Okay? I do feel like there's a lot of money involved here. Or, you know, you just... Maybe you had liberated yourself at one point from this kind of energy with a broken heart in reverse. And now the person's coming back. Maybe they see that you need help with money or, you know, whatever it is. They're, they may be trying again. Okay, and they can't they can't let you go or you you may even be having a hard time letting them go because you're thinking about the past and the memories you shared. All right, tell me more about the future here, but you're in your power. 
So I feel right now you've got a little bit of um, either a decision. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. There's something going on here. I, I don't want to get too ahead of myself with the psychic energy, okay? So let's just go ahead and ask three more cards, please. Yeah, there it is. The Page of Cups, okay? This person is coming in to offer you emotion again. Could be a water sign. Could be an earth sign. Could, could have fire in their chart, okay? Yeah, Four of Pentacles. I had a feeling the Four of Pentacles was going to pop up here. One more, please. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, you're protecting yourself right now. And I feel that's because you're, again, here with the Four of Pentacles. You are focusing highly on what it is that you're doing for yourself. This is, I kind of feel like this is a story of the person who's like, I'm tired of relying on other people for my money or I'm tired of looking for other people to uh, help support me in my life and I'm going to support myself. And so what's happened here is you're, you're literally like trying to block this out, okay, with the Knight of Cups in reverse. You're not going to be giving your energy emotionally, your water energy to this person, even though they may be wanting to come towards you here with the Page of Cups. They want to communicate on an emotional level. But you know this person, okay? They are the Page of Wands in reverse. Kind of immature, all right? This energy, kind of selfish. They may have emotional issues, I just heard. Like, they um, they may be, you know, coming in occasionally with a, a love offer. And you're just kind of like, nope, I'm in my space here. And you're on a different level, Leo, than this person. I think you're on a different level than them. Like, you're just... Like, they may be younger than you, all right, with the two pages here, or they have a younger attitude, and maybe they're more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Free, free they gotta go by their own seat of their pants, they do what they want, but you're coming off as someone who's um, more in your power, and you're not willing to forego your abundance that you've been creating for yourself without this person in your life, or without their influence in some way or another. Let's pull three cards. Oh, you know what? We have to look at the challenge. The challenge on the bottom of the deck we have here for you is three of pentacles in the reverse, okay? This is realizing when people have swept the rug out from underneath you, okay? And being able to say to yourself, do I really need this person to work on whatever it is that I'm doing in my life? Do I need them? You know, you may have really tried in the past to work with this person and create something really good, okay? But right now, I think your challenge is trying to decide what it is you want you know, three is a freaking crowd, right? What is it you want to work on? You know, is it with is it this relationship or is it your own money? So your challenge is literally you're being faced with this. You're being faced with trying to learn whether or not um, this other this other person is going to benefit your future monetarily. Okay, you guys are really being challenged by this right now. This why do I get the feeling this person comes around and they like? For some of you, they they come around and give you gifts or they say, hey, you know, watch out for love bombing. I just heard watch out for a love bombing kind of situation where this person comes in and says, hey, I got money. I got this and that. And you're just kind of like, nope, I'm not going to do that. I know what I want to do and I'm going to do that instead. OK, yeah, I don't want your gifts. I don't want your, you know, promises um, because I feel some of you guys are just, you know, you don't want something where it's you're relying on this person so much that it feels codependent okay so that's your challenge let's go ahead and take a look here at past present and future energy three cards please for leo past present and future energy three cards for leo okay we have the nine of cups yeah i think in the past you definitely uh, for forgone your own happiness, okay? And now you want that. You want to feel good. You want to feel satisfied. Now, some of you, some people are okay, yeah, right? Having someone help support them. There's nothing wrong with that. If you're, you know, there is such a thing as interdependence, not, you know, just there's codependence, interdependence, and independence, right? And interdependence is okay. But I feel this is one of those situations where it was not interdependence, where it was more a case of this person was really propping you up and maybe you were having a hard time finding work. Their energy was actually holding some of you back 
from finding what it was that you truly desired when it came to abundance. Okay, some people can do that. We have the fool. So in the present energy, you're embracing new things. You're moving on a new path, a new journey, moving away from this energy into something that you actually really appreciate, and that is your own abundance. Okay, your own abundance. You're, you're at the Nine of Cups in reverse, so you're trying to create it and flip it, right? You're trying to get your, your uh, Nine of Cups in the upright position. Then we have Ace of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like in this future energy, you're not going to really give you know, as much passion like you used to. I feel like you don't really see a new start here. This may be a missed opportunity for this person here. Um, but yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. Mm, you know, you may just not have the passion for this situation anymore in the future. Like, you're just kind of like, I want to go towards my money bags. I want to go towards me, <laughs> you know, or I want to be doing what makes me happy. I don't want to just be always relying on someone else. I just heard for some of you, you're already in this relationship right now and you're trying to gain your independence while you're within it. I just want to say that saying how you saying how you feel and, you know, there may be a period of time where this person does not understand that you're trying to break free of them and have more independence monetarily. Um, and if they don't understand that, like it's you, you may have to communicate it openly and honestly and communicate how it actually makes you feel inside instead of holding it back because I think some of you guys are actually doing that I'm picking up on this energy okay all right so let's go ahead and pull f I want to get a moonology card and an energy card for you guys moonology card please for Leo moonology card for Leo moonology card for Leo please a new romantic cycle begins yeah for those of you, I'm going to pull another one of these. For those of you that are still in a relationship and this isn't something you've left, uh, this could be a brand new start for you and your person to where you start actually gaining more independence. Okay, let's pull one more. And uh, it, it could actually help the relationship with the fool here. And then we have expect powerful change. Things are happening for you. Okay, whatever it is, your abundance here is is coming towards you because you're focusing on that and you're kind of giving yourself the space to change right and the more we allow ourse ourselves to change uh and, and actually follow the things that feel good instead of feel like we're just working work 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 like doing what makes you feel good you know not just doing what you have to but doing you know i hate that that i have to do it i have to do it no every choice we make is our own choice whether that's to stay in a relationship or leave it or to give the energy to it that it desire we desire or energy to our future, which we desire. So when it comes down to it, all changes are up to you. It's not up to me. It's not up to, you know, the change is, is up to you, right? So let's go ahead and get you one energy card. One more. Since they seemed to want to talk on your behalf. <laughs> okay, Leo. Let's see. We have journey, all right? A whole new journey for you, my darlings. Okay, embrace it. Embrace the new because I think that that's what's going to give you the actual drive and, and the abundance that you're looking for. So keep on going. If you guys like this reading, feel free to upvote this, share it, subscribe, all that business down below. Come join me for the extended on Patreon for only six bucks a month. You get access to all of my extended readings. Okay, bye Leo. See you there.